Welcome to our video tutorial on how to create a purchase order acknowledgement for the BRIC using EDI Gateway's Web EDI portal, WebGate Plus. First, you'll need to log in to WebGate Plus at webgate.edigateway.net. A small briefing about the application. When you see a red circle, it means it's a mandatory field. If you can't complete all the mandatory fields, you can save as a draft. When it's the first response to a purchase order, you must select original as the purpose code, which is 00, and you will not able to send an ASN unless you have completed and sent your purchase order acknowledgement. First thing we'll do is reach the inbox and select the purchase order. Click on documents, then click on inbox, select the purchase order you need to acknowledge, right click, and select create order acknowledgement. We will now complete the header section. On the header section, most of the information is already populated for you. It's either taken from the purchase order or from the profile. This is our first response to this purchase order, so we will leave it at original, 00. To get to the detail section, you either click on detail at the top of the screen or click on next. Let's now complete the detail section. Once you're in the detail section, this will give you the list of all the items on your purchase order. There are three types of acknowledgements. Entire item accepted, accepted with change to quantity or promise date, or item deleted. To change the status, click on acknowledgement, then right click and select. By accepting this entire item, we will need to indicate the promise for shipment and the estimated delivery. As a second example, let's click on item accepted with changes made to quantity or to ship date. Let's change the quantity to 10 and leave the ship date. As for the third item, let's delete it. Once the item is deleted, you will need to indicate a reason in text mode. For example, item is obsolete. Once you are saving your document, if your document is valid, it will go in your outbox and be valid. If you are saving your document as a draft, draft will be indicated in the outbox as a status. As you can see, there's a red X for each of the items. The brick requires the weight for each of the item that we are sending. For example, if this is one pound, I will need to indicate one pound. If this item is three pounds, I will need to indicate three pounds. Then I will be able to save. My order acknowledgement is now valid. Since my document is valid, I will now go to my outbox and send my document. Click on outbox, right click on the document, and click on send. If I would have multiple documents on this grid, I would be able to send valid and it would send all my valid documents. Congratulations! You have completed your first purchase order acknowledgement for the brick. Your next step will be to create your advance ship notice. To do so, please view our tutorial on how to create your advance ship notice. Here's how to reach us. And from all of us at EDI Gateway, thank you for watching.